All right, Ben, I don't know about you, but I've been checking out my Twitter and my Facebook feeds lately, sure. and I have seen more people begging for green. Like, they just want right. to see something green at this point in the winter in Minnesota. So Seriously. I'm feeling the same way. So I'm going to bring you a little present. A few weeks ago, I went to an unexpected location, and guess what I found? Green. Summer, yes. Yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so our photographer, Carrie Cloud, who's behind the camera, said to me, Elizabeth, we're going to go to a farm. We're going to go meet a farmer. We're going to see some food being grown. Now, it's the end of January, so I was a little skeptical, but I thought, Carrie's usually right on. I'll go with her. Here's where she's taken me, to a warehouse in St. Paul. Frankly, I'm a little skeptical, but we'll find out what's going on when we get inside. So this looks like a typical warehouse, right? A little empty, a little gray, but there are a couple of different things about this place. One, it's very humid in here. And number two, it smells oddly earthy. And you know why? Because there is produce growing in this warehouse. Dave is the man behind it. Hi, Dave, how you doing? Hi, thanks for coming on oh this cold day. Oh my gosh, thanks for having us. I gotta tell you, this is like totally refreshing. Lettuce growing in January in Minnesota. Yep, couldn't water it outside, it'd be a little hard out there. So <laughs> We are a hydroponic and an aquaponic operation here. And what we're doing is we're growing lettuce indoors yeah. all year round. And these are actually growing on movable panels. Hydroponic means these lettuces and herbs are grown in water, not soil. And aquaponic means the nutrients that feed the plants come from what's in these tanks. Feed the fish like this, and you can see them popping up. Hundreds of tilapia. They actually create a lot of waste. And when we feed them, they create the waste, and we naturally convert that into fertilizer and then send it through the system. The plants then take out all that fertilizer, and we collect the water and send it right back to uh, the fish again. Dave says a system like this uses 95% less water than an irrigated field. It's a current, so these fish are always swimming. So we want them to be healthy. We want them to be happy. Healthy fish means they don't need to use antibiotics. And while this produce isn't certified organic, there are no pesticides or industrial fertilizers used here. And the part of the warehouse we're in is just the beginning. This building, we plan to come all the way through and have a full acre of, uh, of land inside, which will equal about 100 acres of, of farmland outside just because of the constant production. Dave wants to grow mushrooms here to complete the air cycle, and there's potential for other edible plants as well. We are constantly experimenting with things. We're working on a system to be able to do grow uh, tomatoes indoors as well, yeah. uh, or any type of fruiting product, so that, that's kind of a, that's the next hurdle uh, to do. So we're always doing a lot of research in that area. While lettuce is grown on these vertical panels, the basil lives in what's called an orbiting garden. So look at there, there's the basil right in there. They're in a nice, you know, healthy tanning bed. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to believe that in the middle of winter, you can see the words locally grown on a package of produce, but that's exactly what it is, even without sunshine and soil. Harvest in the morning, we get it to the distributor that same day, and it's in the store or in that restaurant the next day. So it's, it's hard to beat that for the freshness. It's so cool. Isn't that so cool? Wow. It was just one of my favorite places to visit. It was really interesting. So what's cool about it, too, is that Garden Fresh Farms even has a CSA program. Yeah. So, you know, community-supported agriculture where you can commit to buying a bag of produce every week. Subscribers can pick it up at locations like Sunrise Bakery in St. Paul. And there they are. Look, getting their bag of produce. Locally grown, middle of winter. The Did I not deliver the, on that you promise? Delivered, it's the stuff my wife wishes I ate more of <laughs> because I don't. If you had it fresh, I think you might eat more yeah, of it. It was right. delicious, by the way. I was eating sprouts. I was eating all sorts of stuff. It's great. We have more information on our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. Well, a lot has changed since we were kids. Ben, for example, payphones.